Hello guys and girls, it's Hellsting here. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Efreets Nide. Uh, you remember from the last video I told you I was doing a uh, it's pretty much a special build on these. Uh, I'm going to put them together and make one suit out of them. Um, I'm thinking this is probably going to be the main part of this suit. Um, so I got my paint ideas you know, down, but I don't really know what body parts I'm going to use. I know on this one I'm going to be using the forearm, the sides, uh, the back, the legs. I'll probably use this is probably the main kit and the um, custom is just going to be for the swords basically and the backpack to where the swords can go in the backpack and I'm probably going to use the head of it too depending on how things go. Or I might have to use the head on this one. I don't know yet. Now, the one thing I will do though is uh, my ideas for these tubings right here, the, um, the power cables. I'm going to have them gray, so instead of painting them, I'm probably just going to use the gray ones from the uh, custom and put them on here. Since, I mean, I don't know how well this uh, plastic would do with paint, so that's one reason why I'm going to use the gray from the custom. Now, here we go with the manual. Uh, it's probably going to be the exact same as, I mean, well, it probably it is going to be the exact same. A few runners won't be getting used. Uh, this one's probably, yeah, this is the, the one that was done after the, um, the custom. The reason why I say after, because, you know, they might sometimes, you know, uh, in the molding, might make this one first and then, you know, make the other one and another one get produced before this one would. You know, I don't know if that's how they, like, how they do it, but you never know. That might be how they do it at times. But anyway, this is the back with the bazooka. Uh, the one that's not going to be my custom will have the bazooka as its weapon and the other parts I didn't want for my uh, my custom, my custom version of it. And anyway, getting to the, page, the front page with the runners. You see there'll be some runners from the, uh, the one that won't be using this one. And the, I mean, it's the same kit, so the putting it together is going to start the same way. You got the body, the head, the legs. Then you put all that stuff together, and then you, I guess you put the weapon together, and it shows you it with the weapon and the, um, the knives. And now here we go with uh, step one, you know, it's putting the body together. I mean, it's pretty much the same, so I'm not really going to say too much, but I'll just show you the pictures, and you can pause it, and you can see what's different if you want to. Um, and all that great, but I've already kind of talked about this. Uh, uh, instruction manual, you know, with the other ones. So, I mean, they're pretty much the same, just a few parts won't get used. Now, um, most of these, uh, most modelers, well, most people I watched it, um, so I'm gonna use people a lot probably. But a lot of the people I watch on YouTube, they like to do custom paint jobs and they'll pretty much butcher the, the kit to, you know, get rid of seam lines and things like that. Um, so, but I'm probably going to do the same thing because with this right here, you see it's like a peg and then pegs on, you know, for the, the size. So with that, you can probably cut those pegs and just set that right over it. I mean, you're still butchering the kit, but you won't have to try to force it in there and then, you know, bust your weld or anything like that. Or, you know, you're gluing. So that'd be pretty cool. And some of those parts, uh, parts are, you know, the way they are so you can do you know things to them like uh, this part right here you know it's, it's a separate piece so you can put that on there and then uh, get rid of the seam lines and then paint that whole leg and then you, the feet you probably put on separately too and then put the feet on things like that um, you know the knee pads and things I guess this is the run, one with the runners that you're actually going to be using Pretty much the same. It's not like the dog is getting into something. I'm gonna finish this part of this uh, unboxing to see what she's chewing on and to get on to her. And you know, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a common thing you have to do with a pet. I mean, you can't not discipline your animal. It's not to make him. It's not gonna, gonna beat the dog. I'm not gonna beat the dog. I'm just gonna pop her one time on the butt to where she knows she's not supposed to do something. She's still gonna do it anyway. And this is the part about putting the bazooka together. Uh, we'll put it together. Like I said, that won't be the main focus on the main kit. And some other parts. And then you pretty much get the same schematic. Then you get the 
the um you know the cool pictures of the old suit in different poses anyway we get into runner h1 once you get this purple and this brown um i'm not trying to bash anybody but uh i mean he probably won't ever watch my videos because you know he does this too i'm not gonna say names but i don't know why but when he was doing his unboxing he was saying this from maroon uh, you must be colorblind because that's brown um, sorry it might sound like a-hole but it was just when i watched his unboxing of this video it just was irritate me every time he said it was maroon it's not maroon it's brown you get with gray um this is pretty much supposed to be one of the ones that's being used you get the hand for the bazooka and things like that you um so we'll go ahead and get into and now we get H2, uh, which is pretty much, you know, that part of the kit. Oh, you know, the same one. So now we get runner A, which is the white, um, and then the clear, and then the brown again. Um, I don't know what parts you're going to be using or not. Now we get into runner H3. You know, it's the knee pad, the knee part, and then the part of the, the side of the leg to cover up that hole that they made for the um, custom. And you get two of that runner. You get runner G1, which is the ugly yellow. Like I said, though, I'm going to be using the gray ones for my kit, so I don't have to paint it. And I'm not like it. I'm not like the big YouTuber modeler put I mean, people. Uh, people. I keep saying people. The um, But, you know, I'm not like the big YouTubers who put these things together that, you know, paint and they got their own paint booth and the primer i'm i'm using regular score paint all right now we come into runner d1 which is gray uh about most of the inner part you're ever going to get uh, the hands i do paint on paint nose and then runner d2 is pretty much this part of the runner of d1 pretty much the same the runner e2 which is the bottom of the feet uh they're purple oh i'm gonna paint it either way so it doesn't really matter I was thinking about, well, I'll just use the customs feet, but I mean, you're going to paint it. it would look, to me, it would look bad if you paint some of the kit, but not all the kit, so. And then you pretty much you get two of that runner. Alrighty, now we get into runner B2, which is more of that brown. You get the side skirts and then the front of the body. I don't know, like I said, I don't remember exactly what parts you're going to be using. I'm just, I haven't really looked at the kit. I mean, I did unboxing, that's pretty much it, so, I, um, you know. What is? I don't think you'll be using this one though, because yeah, it's gonna be the un 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 unused one, if I'm not mistaken, because you can put the knives in there. You can't put the knives in that one. F2, which is the top of the um, the body, which is the gray part. Um, which I said earlier, I don't know why they why they didn't say nothing about it. But um, you know, you see E2, it's like well, where's E1 or F1? But you got to put in perspective that most of these runners are being reused from the one they did before, and a few runners are, you know, new. So that's probably why you got F2. You probably have an F1 if you had the other kit. If I'm not mistaken, you do. Because with the other kit, if I'm not mistaken, from what I remember, you got two of this one. Come into B3, which is also purple. Um, this is about my only, I think, like my third unboxing, so I'm, I'm hopefully I get better. On the top, you know, the part of the head. Like I said, I probably have to use this one for one or the other's gonna have to be used. Well, I'm, if I use the backpack from the custom, I'll probably have to use the custom's head because you know it might hit if you use a different head. You get your poly caps, but they're just regular poly caps. I'm not gonna go into them. You can, I mean, they're there. Runner C2, which is purple, it's the legs and the back part of the hands. You get two of this one. Uh, E3, which is the gray. Like I said, this is the part that I was talking about that you can, you know, glue together. And if you look, there's is the peg, the part of the, the thing that's going to be the joint for the leg, whatever. You can, you know, cut the pegs off of them, and you can just rub, you know, lay that on top of it, you know. And you get two of that one. E3. Uh, I don't really know what these parts are for. I should really read over the manual before I do an unboxing. But I've had this one for a while, and then I got three days off this week, so I've been planning on doing.
doing a bunch of videos. And you get two of that one. The stickers for the weapons. The gray ones, which I'm not going to be using these stickers. Um, the mono eye, I guess. And then the weapons. The bazookas of uh, the sticker. And then we come into some more of the marking uh, decals. Uh, less than the other one. And that is about it for this unboxing. Oh, I almost forgot. This one is entirely the bazooka runner. Uh, so it's not going to be a main priority to put this together. So and it's just going to sit. And that would be it of the unboxing. I like to so hopefully I get better at this. And that is it for the unboxing of the e Freak Snide. Um, that will be after a while. Uh, right now I'm going to be starting putting the hem together. Gluing parts that I want to glue. Um, you know, do a custom paint job. I know it make me make it look bad. I'm putting about it for this video. Um, I might do a work in progress. I'm going to show what I'm doing and can't, uh, you know, paint and stuff like that.